from Las Vegas, it's Let's Talk News Now with Rick and Ella. Good morning, Las Vegas. It's Let's Talk News Now with Rick Singer, Ella Roberts, and Valerie Amber. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning, morning, Rick. There you go. <laughs> what a great way for me to start my morning. I don't know how you guys get to start it, but I get to start with a cup of coffee here at the Queen Victoria Pub, along with a couple of attractive women, Yay. and get a chance to, well, start the day the right way. We have on today's show some, well, all kinds of guests. Uh, we have little Jay Gambino is going to be with us. We also nice. have with her uh, a gentleman, well, let's just say Red Skelton is going to show up. Yeah. Okay, well, George is going to be here, <laughs> a tribute to Red Skelton. And we also have our winner from this past week's uh, open mic, which we call Impress the Producer. This gentleman's a fantastic magician. He's going to be with us as well. So sit back Very and relax nice. as we get the day going. Absolutely. Ladies, a article started, or I should say a story broke. Uh, and it was all over the news. A gentleman in Texas found his daughter being sexually attacked. That's horrific unto itself. I've heard about that okay. recently. Yeah. <laughs> and in doing so, and in doing so, he obviously came up on the gentleman while, they, while this attack was taking place, and he attacked the man. When he attacked him, he beat him. He hit him, he hit him hard, and he hit him again and again continually until the man and the man ultimately died because of it question becomes is it a crime is it passion is it should the man be charged with i don't know some form of homicide i'm not an attorney or is he fully justified because his child was being attacked i think that's a really hard one because i can see it from his side and it's probably 10 to 1 the same thing that I would do yes. but um, uh, also once you kind of kind of go into there and say okay he can't be charged what about all the other people like let's say somebody's broken into your home and you clock them one and they go and and I know that in the UK lots of burglars have actually broken into a house gotten beaten up and sued the homeowner that they broke into and successfully won. Really? So that kind that's of... The reason the, yeah. That's the reason, you know, the UK is messed up on their laws. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the Lovely. But, uh, but no, when I, when I think about this, I understand the gentleman being outraged. Yeah. I honestly do. Personally, I think I would just come totally unglued as well. Uh, adrenaline's going. I think that you're just going to turn around and unload on somebody. And you're not really and thinking about how, how many times you've hit them or where you've hit them or anything else. I mean, I just can't imagine coming up on anything else more appalling. Well, the funny thing is, well, no one knows this. I saw Law & Order yesterday. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> or was it the day before? I'm not sure. There was an episode about a girl defending a little child from getting molested and she shot the guy in the head. Now, Law & Order has some kind of truth to the law, right? right? Yeah. Right. So basically, uh, they let her go because she was defending an innocent child from getting raped and abused from this man you know, that was attacking her. So she, she was like, oh. So, 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 uh, another, in the episodes. In the episodes. <laughs> yeah. okay. It's happened. In the episode. The flip side to this, though, uh -huh. is that while somebody's adrenaline is going, uh -huh. can they be held responsible? Is a crime of passion truly a crime? Well, if he was defending somebody from getting hurt, mm -hmm. I don't think that's a crime. My, my I think worry that's an accident that he got killed. <laughs> I, my worry about something like that is obviously setting precedence, I think right. it is. Others will use it down the line for, oh, okay, this happened to me, then I was justified in doing that. I get it. But I if it was premeditated, it. I could see that. Yeah. But it's not premeditated. But there's lots of uh, crimes of passion. Like, for example, some people that black out when they're really angry. And even though what? they may be the instigators mm -hmm. of it, what they do, they could justify as... Mental. It was, yeah, it was a crime of passion. And they could have hurt somebody that was an innocent, but should they get off? So I, it worries me. I completely understand it. I would do the same thing, if not worse. Um, but then again, when stuff can be used later on to get rid of, uh, you know, keep out people. I think this is one of these cases that, again, you almost have to take it on a case-by-case -case basis. Right. It is, personally, I think the guy should... There shouldn't even be a question about indicting. I would never indict somebody like that under no. those circumstances. Not defending Espe a child. Especially when you find when, and this was the kind of the caveat to the whole thing, is that uh, it was a, it was actually in the act. His pants were down. The child, it was it was horrific. Interested to hear what you have to say? Let us know. You can go ahead and send us an email at rick at letstalknewsnow.com.